accurate and precise physics right here. So the idea is as follows. A vehicle running along a straight road, powered only by the wind, and yet it can actually go faster than the wind. Counterintuitive, I know. I too had a funny reaction the first time I heard about it. Some say it breaks the law of conservation of energy. Others claim the vehicle is using some kind of hidden engine. But this concept has been demonstrated repeatedly, most famously by the Blackbird vehicle which achieved 2.8 times the wind speed in a downwind direction. Truth be told, I'm actually late to join this debate, although I don't think I should be calling it a debate, because as far as physics is concerned, this has been settled decades ago. But how can a ground vehicle with significant friction outrun the very wind that's pushing it? Well, the answer to that is in fact an engineering trick. It works both on land and on water, and the concept itself doesn't even require wind to work. What you are seeing now is not a normal vehicle. The propellers and wheels are linked together, meaning any one of them can drive the other one. This will be important later. Initially, the wind pushes the vehicle forward. This is the propellers driving the wheels. The vehicle will then somewhat approach wind speed. If it was a normal wind-powered vehicle, this would have been the limit. Because the more you approach wind speed, the less wind there is from your perspective. And you would have to use something other than wind to go faster than that. But here's where it gets interesting. Since the wheels and propellers are connected, once the vehicle gets close to wind speed, the rolling wheels will drive the propeller in a way that makes it act as a fan. The propeller then pushes air backward faster than wind speed, generating additional thrust, thus being able to go more than double the speed of wind in ideal conditions. This isn't perpetual motion. It's actually extracting energy from the difference in velocity between the ground and the air. To visualize the concept, take a ruler like strip piece of paper and an empty thread spool. Place the paper under the spool and pull the paper horizontally. When doing it, you will notice that the spool is rolling along the surface faster than the paper can move. Some of you might say this is just clever gearing which has been around for a long time. And you would be right. The faster than wind vehicle in its core is actually a sophisticated transmission system. It effectively gears up the speed differential between air and ground. But since the change of settings and involvement of wind, I can see why so many people have a hard time accepting this. 